let us talk about uh, cyber crime we'll see the introduction of uh, cyber crime what is cyber crime history of cyber crime categories types of uh, cyber crime then cyber criminals and prevention and then conclusion so the internet in india or in overall world is grow growing rapidly everywhere it is internet so it has uh, given rise to new opportunities in every field we can think of you name it and we have it may it be internet on internet entertainment for business purposes for sports for education everywhere the internet is there so there are always two sides of a coin internet has revolutionized the world internet has made us so free everything so accessible knowledge so accessible but internet has its own disadvantages as well and one in disadvantage is cyber crime for example the illegal activity which is committed on the internet this is what we call as cyber crime so exactly cyber crime is any illegal act which is committed using a computer network especially the internet the cyber crime is a subset of computer crime anything which is related to your internet network and then computer can be considered to be a cyber crime the first uh, recorded cyber crime took place in 1820 what happened in 1820 joseph marie jacquard a textile manufacturer in france produced the loom this device allowed the repetition of a series of steps in the weaving of special fabrics so this resulted in a fear amongst jacquard employees that their traditional employment and livelihood were being threatened so they committed acts of sabotage to discourage jacquard from further use of this new technology this is the first recorded cyber crime there may be various flavors or types of cyber crime first is hacking then denial of service attack virus dissemination computer forgery credit card fraud phishing spoofing cyber stalking threatening and salami attack the modifications of a conventional crime by using computers they are changed to financial crimes cyber pornography sales of illegal articles online gambling intellectual property crime email spoofing uh, specifically spoofing is very important and forgery cyber defamation and spy cyber stalking so categories uh, which uh, cyber crime has cyber crime can be broadly divided into three major categories cyber crimes against a person cyber crimes against property and cyber crime against government the first category cyber harassment is a distinct cyber crime various kind of harassments can and do occur in cyberspace or through the use of cyberspace you know harassment can be a sexual uh, racial or religious or other people actually think that on internet they are not being watched or they are not been seen they can do whatever they want but it is not like that because it's just like you are roaming around if you are ro you are roaming on a road or in a traffic or if you do some crime you will be caught in the similar fashion don't underestimate the power of uh, this the cyber uh, network because you will be caught any time you have ip you have so many things which can be Uh, and for that you you will be you have to uh, you know pay substantially for all misdeeds you have done and second category is these crimes include computer vandalism that is destruction of others property that is transmission of hal phone programs or authorized trespassing through cyberspace or unauthorized pos possession of computer information there is a third category this is cyber terrorism one of the buzzword or talk of the town is one of the kind this in kind of crimes in this category so the growth of internet has shown that the medium of cyberspace is being used by individuals or groups to threaten the international governments and also 
to terrorize the citizens of the country. Cyber criminals, they may be kids, organized activists, who hack and say they are activity activists, discontrol uh, employees, employees which are not happy, professional hijackers or ha hackers of cyber uh, space. So these are corporate espionage. How to prevent the cyber crime? First is to avoid disclosing your identity to any stranger. Always use latest antivirus software to guard against virus attacks. Never send your credit card number to any site which is not secured. Use your firewalls, change your passwords frequently and uninstall unnecessary software. So most important is your antivirus software which prevents you from various crimes, most of the crimes. So in conclusion, within the law enforcement agencies, a set of rules must be developed to address the various categories of computer crime. As such investigators will know what and which materials of search and seize the electronic evidence to recover and the chain of custody to maintain. Thank you so much. I hope you have a bit idea of what is actually cybercrime how important it is and how important it is to uh, mitigate it, manage it and to curb it, to uh, remove it or rather you cannot remove it as, uh, overall but at least you can take step to minimize it. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.